we moved from Franklin, where you had city water and city electricity and all the comforts, and way out to the country to an old abandoned farmhouse. We lived in that for a while. It was a big house, and it was heated with coal stoves. I can't remember how, except that the chimneys ran right up through the first floor on the floor on the second floor, and there was a hole in each floor where the chimney ran up to the roof. And I was always afraid when I was little I was going to fall down one of those holes. And I was very careful when I was in the bedroom because there was a hole in every bedroom floor. But that's where they heated the pipes would get warm and they would, they would heat upstairs. But it was dangerous. It had to be. And we moved to Turkey City and our house was all on one floor. So we didn't have that, but we still had the coal stove in the kitchen and the pipe went up beside the wall. It was just the pipe. There was no insulation or anything. And the kitchen caught fire once. I heard my brother David seemed to be in charge and everything first thing in the morning. He got the fire going in the kitchen and it got too hot and set the wall on fire behind the stove. And I heard him call his dad and I heard my dad make the strangest yell when he saw the fire. And when luck would have it, we had, there was one of my dad's very important rules is that two pails of water had to be on the counter when we went to bed, two full pails of water. And that's just why he had them. He grabbed those pails of water and threw them on the wall and put the fire out before it got good, good going. And my mother heard us little kids out the door in the middle of winter, grab your boots and you're in your bare feet because it was just daybreak, not dressed grabbed your coat and boots and out the door and she was very calm, just lined us all up and got us out the door. And they put the fire out and no harm done. We trooped back in again and probably went off to school after we had breakfast. I don't remember the details. I just remember how calm my mother was because she usually got all excited if anything like that happened. But she kept her head and got us all out. Safely.